Right guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to put ringtones onto your iPhone. Now this will work on every generation of iPhone, including the new iPhone 5. And the great news, you don't need to be jailbroken. So let's get started. Go down to the web browser and you'll be greeted with this, iRinger.net. If you scroll down, you can read the features. And at the very bottom, you have the direct links. Now I'll have the direct links in the description so you can go ahead and download it straight from iRinger's service. So, uh, it will work on 32 and 64 bit computers. It will work on the latest iTunes software and it will work on all versions of Windows um, operating systems. So, once you've downloaded it, um, you can run it. Now, the good thing about this as well is a standalone EXE, so there's no installing and no uninstalling. Now, this is what you'll be greeted with. This here will disappear if you donate to the guy who created it. Now, there is no time limit on this. You can use this for life. It's just to get rid of this, just donate. It's entirely up to you guys. So you be slide this across. You will see the various effects you can use. And if you go to delay, make sure it's ticked, settings, and you'll get settings on exactly what that effect will have. So I'm not going to have any effects. Um, again, I don't personally use them. You guys might, so go ahead and use it. You see buttons here, import, preview, and export. Over here, the length, which I will show you now. will change the length of the ringtone. Now, from here to here is 30 seconds. This changes this to 15 seconds as you can see it moves it but it will also be used in this space here so this is now 15 seconds it's now nine eight seconds sorry four seconds but we're going to keep it on 30 so let's try and find a decent part of this song it don't matter where does it guys it doesn't really matter so if you want that ringtone click export and to iTunes. Now, I have tried doing it directly on my iPhone 5. It doesn't seem to work. If you have another model of iPhone, you could try it. It may work. I'm not too sure. I've not tested it. Well, I have, and it don't work for me, but it might work for you on a different device. So, go. And when I click this, you should hear it. And there you go. You see it clearly open there which is pretty good and also you can rename it here if you wish and there we go so okay let's try another one import good riddance so let's find the best part well a part that's good that can be so let's try it from here try it from there that'll do export you can also rename it in here if you want, so let's get rid of the 17. You can also change the, the directory and where you want to go. You can also change the looping if you wish. So let's go. And you will hear this kick in. And as you can see, the 17 has disappeared, which is good. So let's do burn it down. But before I do, I'm going to show you, you can import audio from a YouTube video. You can import audio straight from your straight from your device, untested, don't work for me. Or you can do it from a CD. But we'll do it from a computer, because a lot of people do have MPEG-3s now and use them. But there are other options, which is good. So let's go and find a good place for this. Oh, we need a good chorus, don't we, guys? About here. Oh, look at that, eh? As if it was meant to be. Export. Um, and we'll rename it again. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a W, two W's, just to show you it does rename. And it's going to kick in. And there you go. Two W's. Let's pause that. And there we go. So there we are. We have four ringtones in there, including Learn to Fly by the Foos. And there we go. They're all in there. Good stuff. We're now in iTunes. So as you can see, we're in the Tones tab ticked sick tones and selected tones or you can do all tones but let's just sync good stuff and let's go over to the phone so guys once in your phone go to settings 
sounds, ringtone, and as you can see here, they've all been done at the very top. So let's go to from top to bottom. And there you go, guys. So that's how easy it is to put ringtones onto your unjailbroken and jailbroken iPhone. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.